Gerlos in Austria. How quickly do snow measurements decline due to climate change? Hi everyone, my name is Günther Eigner and I am an Austrian researcher on the future of skiing. Today let's have a look to the Austrian ski resort of Gerlos. How have snow measurements developed? Three questions should be answered. First, how reliable are the snow conditions in Gerlos? Second, how quickly have snow measurements declined over the past 100 years? And third, what happens if winters warm up by 1.4 degrees Celsius by 2050? The snow in Gerlos has been officially measured by the state of Tyrol for more than 100 years. Let's have a look at great data featuring the development of the annual snow totals over the past 98 years. On average, more than 5 meters of fresh snow fall per year. In dry winters it is less than 3 meters and in snowy winters it is more than 10 meters. Whether the winters are cold or mild makes little difference to the snow totals in high altitude such as Gerlos. Rather, it is decisive whether the winters are dry or wet. Two things stand out. First, the snowy phase from 1965 to 1982, which can be seen in many regions of the European Alps. And second, the trend line, which shows no change over the past 100 years. Let's now have a look at the number of days with natural snow cover per year. Here we find very favorable snow conditions with an average of 152 days. The trend line shows no change over the past 121 years. But what will happen if the worst case scenario of global warming occurs in Austria's mountains by 2050? Official Austrian climate scenarios show a warming of 1.4 degrees in the worst case. The consequence would be a rise of the snow line by 200 meters by 2050. In the Zillertal ski area these effects would hardly be noticeable. And now to answer our initial questions. First, on average 5.1 meters of fresh snow fall in Gerlos with 152 days of snow cover per year. Second, over the past 100 years, neither the annual snowfall totals nor the number of days with natural snow cover have declined. And third, in the worst scenario, the snow line would rise by 200 meters. And that's all for today. If you liked the video, please recommend us. As always, comments and discussions are welcome. In the meantime, enjoy skiing, the most fascinating sport on earth. Ciao.